in the Modbus setup screen, enter the IP address of the Kducer and the addresses for the Modbus registers that you're needing. Here we'll be using four. Select Show Advanced Options and enter one for the Modbus slave address for each of your Modbus registers. This is a quick look at the program we're going to be running. We will trigger the driver with uh, Modbus register 32 and then wait for a confirmation that we've reached target torque by looking at Modbus register 137. And so we'll play the program. We'll be able to see these Modbus registers actively change. We'll start by triggering the driver again with register 32 waiting for register 137 to confirm we've reached our target torque. And then we can also view the number of screws that have been made. So here we are torquing. Once we hit target torque, we get confirmation both through Modbus and visually on the driver and the Kducer itself and a confirmation of screw count.